What's going on guys? Welcome from another walkthrough of Persona 3 Reload. I hope you enjoyed the first part of my video. It was a longer one to do a special of the Persona 3 Reload of the remake version. If you've been enjoying this video, please hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel and want to see more of this channel of my videos, hit that smash that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thank you for watching and let's get started on Persona 3 Reload. Persona. It's the entrance where we left off from the video when we're about to enter inside and fight a very of shadows to get experience of fighting with our personas. Our teammates are Yukari and Junpei. It seems like we're about to get started. Let's before we go in, let's talk to our characters here. So do you, Akihiko's telling us to watch their backs. Mm. So, as in from the original Persona 3, when you talk to your party members, you usually can choose to take them out of your party, but it looks like they don't have that set up anymore. And as you can see down in the menu, we have our auto recovery, map, log, menu, dash, and the save menu. But when we're inside the tower, when we do the floors, we can't do the save. So, let's get started. All right. I'm ready. Oh, crazy mud and blood everywhere. Man, they really want details for Tartars. So, it's the real deal from here on, huh? Well, it's easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? I like the glow they have with her. Whoa. Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Wait. Are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Alrighty, here we go. Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. Okay, to explain what we got here is my character has a sword. Jinpei has katana longsword and Yukari has a bow. Each will have their unique battle style. And I believe Yukari is both action and support, so this will be interesting. There's a shadow up ahead. Oof. It looks... This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. Here we go. I love this battle theme. Going over how to attack shadows. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. Alrighty. You can choose a skill whether to use attack or skill on your enemies. You can attack with whatever weapon you have currently equipped on you. While it doesn't do the most damage, it will not deplete your HP or SP. Launch an attack by selecting the X button. On the other hand, you can use your Persona, which we use sometimes will deplete your HP and SP. To use one, you have to hit the triangle button, and then it'll select the option of skills, depending on the situation. So firstly, we're gonna use... We'll attack with our weapon. So it's not weak to um, physical attacks. Nice, we dodged it. Looks like I'm a... Here goes. Check this out. Here we go. And that was Junpei using his persona. And we just leveled up. Nice. 
as we get stronger, so sometimes does our persona. But as you know, in each main character persona, we each all get different personas. For every persona we use, they get the XP. But those who don't, they don't really level up. They might get some XP depending on the skill, but not often. Well done, Iori. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Takeba too. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. Good. Let's continue exploring. So as you could see, Jinpei attacked with his own will. In most Persona games, you have the ability, well, before when 3, well, when the original 3 was out, your characters would do the on their own, but then in the upgraded version, you can. Hopefully we can do that here, unless we have to let them auto-fight right now. Let's actually check the menu here. Let's see here. System, maybe? No, that's not it. Maybe stats? Oh, that is cool. I like the look of them. So, as Yukari, she is the love lover's arcana. She, her persona is named Io. And the other one is Jinpei. He's the magician with Hermes. I don't know if we could change their battle commands. Let's wait for a sec here. Here we go. Guess we can't yet. Let's get you more accustomed to combat. Here we go. The battle's about to begin. Everyone stay focused. Alrighty. Alright. Next, let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait. Let me handle this one. Here we go. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this. Nice. Alrighty. Each skill her attacks has an affinity, which Yukari used was Garu, the wind element. Will have weakness towards certain affinities. Attacking enemy has weakness will deal more damage than usual and also knock them down, which gives us that once more. You can spam that as much as you can, but once you do it on a knockdown enemy already, it won't do it again. So you always gotta make your time shots count and time them right. And try not to spam it so much because you'll use a lot of SP. So sometimes you'll use your persona affinity damage and then just go for a melee. Like this for instance. See I just took him out in one shot. Now this one we're gonna do... Since it's only three doesn't hurt as much but keep using it too much you'll spam a lot of damage a lot of SP so you got to be careful and look at that Yukari and Jinpei just leveled up oh, I, did it. I will say this too I am a grinder so sometimes our videos will take a, some grinding but I'll try to work on editing those out if you don't like that so much fantastic work Takeba you performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Oh, jeez. What a show. <laughs> can you try not being a creep? Agreed. Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. 
can still sense some enemies around. Let's move on. Alrighty. It's interesting is that everyone's got a default where they put the guns on the side of their heads, but Yukari puts it right in front of her forehead. Yeah. Hello, treasure chest. Hey, found some kind of boxy looking thing. Yes, boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus. Sometimes they contain useful items for battle. Seek them out as often as you can. Oh, sweet. So they're basically like treasure chests. Hell yeah. Let's bust it open and see what's inside. Now these are the things you gotta keep an eye on in Persona games. Find any chests you can get and open them because they have a lot of items or weapons or even armor to help you throughout the story. Because most of the time some stuff are too expensive to buy. So keep your eyes out on treasures. Which is why I think it's one of the cool things about this because this gives me a Kingdom Hearts vibe a little bit. And our lucky winner is three like life stones. It's up to you to decide how to use it. Nice. Lifestone gives a lot of it. You'll be able to tell the difference between the items for health and SP is by the HP and the SP by the item. Now, some character personas have the ability to heal yourselves, but they cost a little more SP though, so you have to be careful on timing that. And we got another treasure chest over here. Let's open this out. Revival bead. Nice. That will be... A revival bead is what revives your uh, comrade with 50% of their health. Shadow detected. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now's your chance. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. Now, this is another good one. This is called the preemptive strike. So if you be able to hit your enemy shadow without them noticing you, you get to have a big advantage for a turn for two or a turn or two doing damage. Now watch. We have an advantage now. Explain a tactic for defeating several enemies at once. First, go ahead and strike an enemy's weakness. I'll keep track of tactical data such as any enemy weaknesses you've identified. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know and I'll get that data for you. Now, analyze is something you want to use sometimes to be able to see what weaknesses they have and don't and can't be weakened to, to help keep track of it. Now, there's two types of ways, they, four ways they can affect your stats. There is, as back here is resist, which means they can take less damage from it. And null as in it can't be taken at all. Repel, it means it reflects right back at us. Drain, they get HP back from it. explain this and we don't have to go through it basically all out attack is if all enemies are currently knocked down you can have your entire team attack them all at once it does a lot of mass damage or even one shots them pretty much the gist of it I'll show you an example right now Shuffle. Nice. Now this is a rare one from back in Persona 3 and 4 is the shuffle system. Each time you do a certain achievement in the battle, you'll have where you get these random terror cards. And you get to choose these cards. You can somehow try to get all of them at once if certain ones give you an extra turn to get a card. If you get it, you get a bonus. And then sometimes, usually every battle, you're guaranteed a terror card. 
which were usually where we get our extra personas or some stuff that can benefit us in the next battle. Or money or XP. And now we can't we got the Aparis persona. There we go, level three. And we just learned Dia, the healing technique. here for it to turn around so we could do all oh, you guys are another shadow up ahead take advantage of what you just learned try not to alert the enemy as you move gotta wait a sec all right we got an advantage let's do this Time to summon our other persona. This is our unique skill as the main character. We could change personas. We'll only get a certain amount as the story starts, but as we progress, we'll be able to get more personas to wield and get stronger ones. So we gotta make sure to have personas that can help benefit us in Battlefield that can support offense, defense, or even area attacks or damage bonus. All right, now let's change our persona. Let's see here. Time to use Buffu. Booyah. All right, time for another one. All out attack. Another shuffle. Hmm. It's a tough one. Right now, I think we're okay on health and that, so let's get some XP. Get some extra bonus. The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. We just gotta find that teleportation device. Hey, I found some stairs. Wait, we're looking for the teleporter, aren't we? Exactly what Takiba said. Please prioritize getting back safely for now. Okay, can't go through that way. Boo. Interesting. Your chest looks different from the one before. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. What's that you got there? I wonder. 
Oh, it looks this. Treasures can be unlocked through Twilight Fragments. The amount you need will vary. The chest chest you'll need to collect as many as you can. This is actually a new thing they just added for this, because this wasn't in any of the Persona 3 games. So let's find out what this does. Got Snuff Soul. Nice. We got some SP items. All right, let's find ourselves a portal. Here's our portal. Looks like you found a teleporter. Or teleporter. To return to the entrance. Alright, here we go, another rank up for the fool. Rank 2. As I said before, some social links will come with benefit effects from each social link. Some will come give you new skills. Or new... Mostly it's abilities. And I think last time I remember, it also can give you more XP, more money, or other things, or even other stuff All right And I guess now we head back for the dorm today So now, each time we go back to Tartarus, our floors will change every time. So that makes us benefits more to... So we can't always rely on the same thing we've done in the last run. So always be prepared for the unexpected. girl in school you can say that again she's got this intimidating vibe around her not to mention this school is owned by the Carijo group right as I begin my term as student council president I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year it is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school however 
change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Strive to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. My own ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang. What a speech. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? <laughs> sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. We're gonna try to stay awake on this one. What even? And then we just increased our academics. there too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. Let's go, leader. First task, escape from the school. <laughs> Only he would make it some way like that. Son is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. And I guess neither of us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. He's a captain of the boxing team. Never lost a single match. I know that's cool and all, but who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come on! They're fawning on him more than a harem mug. I wonder where they're going. <laughs> Only he would. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Uh, us? Yeah, I mean, hell yeah! We love to join your little, uh, group here. <laughs> Sarcastic. Ah, don't be lame. Even heroes need some rest now and then, you know? Well, are you free or not? Yeah, of course. No problemo. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? J the police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who? These girls? No, I don't even know their names. Hearing so much chit chat gives me a headache. Yeesh. That's a anyway, I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. That was a little harsh. I might be crazy, but I think that girl sounds a lot like. How can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Uh, anyway, let's go. Anyways, what I was saying is, um, that girl sounded a lot like the voice actress of On to yeah. from Persona Five. For those who do not know who that is, she is a female lead character of the Persona 5 series as one of the Persona users. In that version, they always went by code names. Hers was Panther. Now we're heading to the mall. 
I always love this theme song. I gotta say, the music in this game is a lot good. It's really great, honestly. Uh, before we go in, let's hear what some stuff here. ways to increase our stats. Well, let's go inside. Ah. Thank you, I'll be taking this. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. Oh, and here. This is from Ikutsuki san. Ooh, nice. 5,000 yen. Whoa, is that our warp lens? You shouldn't have. You can't fight empty handed, so find something you like. Kurosawa san has connections. He can secure equipment for us, but these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. Ooh. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I think I I've been informed about you too. My job is to maintain peace in this city regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Nothing more. If you need something, we can talk in the back. All right. This is where we'll be buying our weapons and that. You always want to keep your weapons up to date. The more you keep an old weapon, the harder it is for you to survive. Okay. Uh, the cop sounds a lot familiar from something. Can't put my finger on it. Uh huh. Got some new things in stock. Check it out if you've got the time. Hmm. That what you want? All right then. I'm just gonna sell some of the old stuff. What are you looking for? That what you want? All right then. There we go. Let's see if we got enough for Junpei. There we go. Can we buy anything armor-wise? No. Nope. Yeah, looks like I can't afford those right now. And looks like we'll have to wait a bit on armor and accessories for a while. I knew it. I remember now. I can't believe the police station selling weapons. What's more? And they only gave us 5,000 yen. Ain't that kind of stingy? I mean, kind of saving the world. I remember now why that officer's voice sounds familiar. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that guy was also the original voice actor of Akihiko of Persona 3. So that kind of. I'm kind of a little peeved on that. If they could bring him in for that, why didn't they just keep him as Akihiko? So, I understand they're trying to go for a new thing, but honestly, the cast for P3's voice cast was the best there ever was. I wish they could have kept some of them, honestly, but 
I digress. We'll just have to live what we got. But at least they're in somewhat in this series. So. How am I supposed to spend anything for 1,600 yen? Uh, yep, I know. A lot of people did a lot of those stuff, huh? Oh, let me see if we can get some medicine real quick. That's not the right one. We're just going to hold off on that for now. Let's see if we can work on a little of our stats here. Oh, I can't even anyways. That's too much money there. still still have some money. There we go. A little increase there. And now we're at the evening. So now, now we can first, now can roam at city at night. So we can do like part-time jobs and other stuff that'll help with our stats and even earn money and stuff like that. Even make new social links. But yeah, so far this has been a great walkthrough so far. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to more in this game. But anyways, we're going to stop here for today, and we will pick up the next video where we're going to go back into Tartarus again to get more level experience. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And those who are new to this video and new to my channel and that want to see more later on, please hit that smash that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified when I can to upload these videos. And I will upload these videos as soon as I have any moment to be able to. Thank you guys. You have a good day or night. You stay safe out there, all right? Catch you later.